today I'm gonna introduce you guys to an amazing blender add-on that will save you a lot of time and effort and it is called Colossal Shape Keys. With this add-on you can easily convert your cloth simulations to shape keys and edit any error in your cloth animation or do some minor adjustments which is really cool. This add-on also works with animation exported as Lembic from Marvelous Designer which gets imported as a mesh sequence cache modifier. You can also convert your soft body animation to shape keys. The add-on is simple to use. After you install it, you can find it in the end panel. But before converting to shape keys, it is better to disable or remove any modifiers like the subdivision surface or solidify to get accurate results when converting. Now, you can click method 1 and wait for it to finish. Method 2, however, uses surface deformer modifier to convert to shape keys, but the surface deform modifier doesn't work when the frame settings are different than the cloth cast settings or if your cloth has pockets with welded vertices, meaning mesh has at least an edge with more than two faces. So after the conversion finishes, you will get a duplicate with all the shape keys so you can remove the original object or just hide it so anyone can use it later if you choose to. Now, choose the frame you want to edit and use the previous and next buttons to jump between shape keys then click edit shape key button, which will take you to the sculpt mode. Choose the brush you want to work with and start adjusting your object. By the way, you can also use mouse buttons 4 and 5 to jump between shape keys or change the hotkeys in the preferences. This add-on also has the option to apply the subdivision modifier to your object and keep all the shape keys with the animation. This is very useful if you want more control when sculpting or moving vertices. Finally, if you go to the output properties tab or in the frame settings and change and then convert your animation, you will step over frames and get fewer shape keys with linear interpolation between them. I think this is an amazing add-on that solves a really tedious problem with just a simple clicks. So if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of 3D software and the 3D industry in general. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.